2023. Doctor Fozia Khan, five minutes. Sir, I'm sincerely thankful. Five minutes. Uh, we are discussing supplementary demands that equal almost to 8% of the budget. So the way budgets are discussed these days remind me of a little anecdote which I had read somewhere. An optometrist was training his assistant on how to present the bill for a pair of spectacles to his assistant. He was coaching him, he said, you say to the customer, it will be 2,000 rupees. Pause and take a look at the customer. If the customer doesn't look agitated, you can go on and say, for the frame. You further go on to say, and the, and the glasses will be 1,000. Pause again. Look at the customer. If the customer is still unruffled, you can go on to say, for each. So, sir, an unruffled customer bears the burden. Had he questioned the assistant, he would have got the spectacles for half the amount. In this, I think, lies a lesson for all of us. Sir, running the finances of such a big economy is a very challenging task. And I admire the Honorable Finance Minister for being at the steering wheel in difficult times. My colleagues, honorable members, have spoken elaborately on price rise, on inflation, on uh, unemployment, and a lot of things, sir. But I shall be limiting myself, since I have a very short time, to one or two different issues, sir. Sir, a major amount from the Consolidated Fund of India shall be going towards the construction of roads. It is a good thing to have good roads, sir. Especially with reference to our spines and our bones. So, sir, I must cite a meaningful example here. I know this because this is an example from my own home district. This is a road which is part of NH61. It has been sanctioned and allotted. Estimates that were prepared for this 17-kilometer road were for 430 crores, sir. Tenders were floated for a 430 crore road, and the road was sanctioned to the lowest bidder. Sir, can we imagine how low this bid was? This was 31% low. And, sir, it makes it 134 crore rupees lesser than what was estimated. And these estimates are made by our learned officials of the department. Sir, my question is, why were the estimates so high? And in case this road of 17 kilometers would have been sanctioned at 430 crores, we would have been in a loss of 134 crores. So, sir, this one single road of 17 kilometers saved us 134 crores. Another road from Parli Vaijanath was allotted 32% below, below the estimate. There are various works from the forest department, which I know of, which are being allotted between 30 and 45% below the estimate, sir. This is something which is beyond imagination and is denting our overall budget, sir. These are only works from a so small district in Maharashtra. We could imagine the volume of the scope for saving in the overall budget of various departments. Sir, we must not forget that the revenue budget for roadways is one of the highest in our country. Sir, if estimates in various departments are made more wisely, a lot of money could be saved in the overall budget, which could be utilized for more important matters, <coughs> for instance, for national security. So when we speak about the security of the country, 
it is not just the defense ministry which I am referring to. The consideration for defense so far has had only three dimensions, sir. Land, water, and air. A fourth dimension has also emerged in present times, and that, sir, is space and the rapidly emerging technologies around it. Why, sir? Should I stop, sir? Half a minute. Thank you, sir. In the year 2022 itself, there have been 181 launches into space, the highest that the world has ever seen. Moreover, sir, out of these launches, a majority of launches were not made by the government, but were made by private players. Our defense considerations cannot ignore that, sir. I thought with the changing scenario in the world, we have a world war, we have Russia cornered, we have China in aggression, we have Pakistan always gnarling at us. We would have, sir, asked for some finance, some supplementary demands for defense this time. As many countries, sir, I had some figures which I wanted to present here, which many countries have taken decisions in view of changing situations and they have enhanced their military budget, sir. So if we would have come even up to 20% from 8%, we wouldn't have minded because it concerns the security of the nation and times have changed, sir. So we need to evolve just as cyber world is evolving, we also need to evolve and our space department, our defense department and our um, IT department should take consideration of this, sir. Because of shortage of time, I cannot say yes. more, but I had a lot Thank to you. say. Thank you. Thank you very thanks. much, sir. The honorable member has demonstrated power of politeness. Politeness can be very disarming. I was speechless. When she said, should I stop? I said, go on. I'm sure members will bear in mind power of decorum, power of discipline, and power of humility is beyond imagination when it comes to impactful results. Shri R. Giri Rajan, 